Women's champion Felicia West. Um, you know, viewers love you. One of the you know best female fighters, female fighters out there. Um, can you just tell me about your history in the sport? How you got into, first got into boxing? Um, I started when I was 10 years old. I was always familiar with boxing because my dad used to box as an amateur and a pro, and it was always a part of my life. And so when he started coaching after he retired. California or where was this? It was in East LA. How did the LA, like you know, California scene uh, impact you as a fighter? Just you know, like just the gyms out there and everything. How did that help mold you? I'm thankful to be in California as a boxer. I can tell you that right now. California's got some of the toughest fighters around, and there's like a no mercy. It's a no mercy city right. out here in LA and in the Inland Empire. So growing up in one of the capitals of boxing gave me pretty much an advantage in the boxing game going pro because I fought with the best, I sparred with the best, I trained with the best, I learned from the best. And if it wasn't for me being in California, who knows what I would have came out to be because I wasn't always good when I first started boxing. What has it been like, your professional career? How would you describe it so far? What the, what, what's it been like for you? Um, when I first started off, because I wasn't the always, I wasn't always getting the uh, the fan favorite decision when I was an amateur. Yeah. And as soon as I turned pro, I just was winning. I kept winning and winning and winning. And then eventually it came to a point where I was like, wow, I'm winning all the time. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, this is good. Yeah. And my dad, he teaches me like a pro style. And so um, I took my first loss after going 10 and 0. And after that, I made up my mind. I was like, I'm not gonna lose again. I don't care. I just don't want to lose again. to Ava Knight, you rematched her, it's a real tough fight, um, how, how would you describe being in the ring with her, people guard her as one of the better female fighters? I can tell you right now, her style is deceiving, what I mean by that is, you can look at her on tape and think you have her number, but right. when you get in the ring, it is a whole different ball, ball game, because she has something that a lot of fighters don't have, she has natural power. Mike Tyson power. I mean, thank God for my mom's side of the family chin, I can take it like a champ. But that girl can hit, and once you get hit, it changes your style up. So even though I had a, I had a loss, came back and had a draw, you know that that decision, it could have went either way. You know what I mean? It could have went either way, and it ended up being a draw. And it was a good fight. People said it was one of their, you know, greatest female fights they've ever seen. And I believe it because you're sitting there looking at. Joe Frazier versus Muhammad Ali, but the women's version. And you also used to train a little bit at the wild card, is that true? Or you did some you know, sparring there maybe? Or? I used to go there for sparring when Anna Hulatan would contact my dad. Yeah. She, when she was getting ready for a fight and I was getting ready for a fight, I would go down there for some good sparring. How Fred, was Freddie's a real nice guy. He was always welcoming us to come right in. Okay. Yeah. And have you ever faced any stereotypes for people, you know, boxing? Like as a woman, it maybe is harder to make a name for yourself or, you know, to kind of call about your niche, Tell or? me about it. <laughs> yeah. It's really hard. You know, and you know what's sad right now? It's not about the people. It's not about the boxing fans. It's about the promoters, the media, the TV networks who need to jump on the bandwagon of women in fighting sports, kind of like Dana White did with UFC. Okay. Because right now, I've always, growing up, I've, I've been told things like, you should be cooking. You should be in the kitchen. Or, or uh, even by men at my job, oh, you're still working here? You must not be that good at boxing. Or women can never hit as hard as, as men. You know, I took it as a grain of salt because some, if you keep going after something, it will change. And it's a matter of time until people realize it. And I see it slowly changing. And this Ronda Rousey being in the UFC, she got her first, you know, that fight. Does that give you hope that, you know, it can happen too for you? Maybe. You know, it really takes a special type of individual to get the opportunity to have a great following. And when I say a special type of person, I mean somebody who's not about themselves. We've had some female stars who come up, like Marlon Esparza, and Marlon Esparza is all about Marlon Esparza. And in the end, she needs to speak up about how it is for women's boxing, but she's never been through the same struggle as us pros. So she can't even speak up or even try to speak up or feel where we're coming from. Okay. She doesn't have empathy. A lot of people are saying, do you think it's going to slowly rise? Like I said, it's going to take someone special to be to be ca you know capitalized with their with their following. A lot of people follow them, get the name out, then they need to speak 
up about how it is for women. That way, it becomes like a viral. It goes viral. Women's boxing needs to go viral. Okay. And how can fans reach out to you? On Twitter at K, the letter K Wild Wild West, or on Facebook uh, forward slash official Kalisha West, or even on Instagram. Just touch my name. All right. Thanks a lot, Kalisha. We'll be looking out.